Hello and welcome to the Anaya's Kitchens channel where we'll be sharing with you our family recipes and recipes that we have learned traveling around the world. Join us and buen provecho! Okay, this is our version of dry chile salsa that we eat normally with barbacoa but sometimes my husband likes to use it with scrambled eggs, you can use it with several things, whatever you like. The ingredients are 10 ancho chiles, dry chiles, 10 pasilla chiles, sometimes I use guajillo, it looks a little similar to this one, one teaspoon of oregano, three teaspoons of bouillon, white vinegar, three cloves of garlic, and an onion. And the first step is putting the comal and warming it up. Then we're gonna put the dried chiles. Put the ancho first. Doesn't matter, you can put either one. <laughs> Don't let them burn, they just need to kind of warm up a little bit. See, you can already see that. Put them kind of low, not too high heat, because they do get burned fast. You have to stay with them and watch them. And you can start smelling them. When you get that nice smell, kind of turn them around. See, giving you a little bit of bubbles there. You can see the little bit of smoke. They're not burning, so they're okay. Put a bowl of water, warm water next to them. So as soon as I see them, that they're like having a little bit of bubbles all over the place, I put them in the warm water. I'm gonna make like a little cracking noise. It's okay. See, this one is ready. And they'll puff up. So that one goes in the water. It's all puffed up. And they're gonna reabsorb the water. My bowl's kind of small, but it's okay because I mean they're they just getting a little hydrated again. It'll be fine. I'm gonna leave them in the bowl of water for about 10 minutes. Okay, sink them in the water so they can fully rehydrate. Okay, about after 10-15 minutes, I'm gonna start putting the ingredients in the blender. We're gonna blend them all together. Put the garlic first. Half of the onion, the bouillon, chicken bouillon, the oregano, and a little bit white vinegar. Okay. And start getting the chiles out of the water. Gonna be softer as you can see. They're softer. Get some of the seeds out. You don't have to. Because at the end I'm gonna get everything in the strainer, so they'll be fine. Okay, now I'm gonna add some of the water where we put the chilies in. Maybe two cups. And now we put it in the blender. I'm gonna 
add some a little bit of oil to the pot, olive oil. Okay. I'm gonna put the strainer. And little by little, we're gonna strain. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Okay, after I finish straining it, I just let it cook for about 10, 15 minutes. It's gonna change color a little bit. It'll be a little darker when it's ready. Now it's ready, it's ready to eat, it's ready to serve. Enjoy and buen provecho.